Hi, this is Tim. In our video about terminal blocks, someone pointed out that I left out a very important feature of terminal block jumpers. So in it, I described how you can take these jumpers and make a row of terminal blocks common so you have a lot of places to land wires. But what I didn't describe is how you can use these to skip terminals and make only certain ones common. So in this case, we're wiring up um, a Micrologix 1400 and I'm landing all 20 inputs down to this terminal. That way it's really easy for the installer to wire his switches to. So I want every other one of these powered. That way he can go out to, with power and come back with his input. And what I've done to do that, instead of having jumpers going across 20 terminals, is I've taken that terminal jumper and I've cut every other one out of it. This way, I only feed 24 for the first one, and then every other one is powered by that. So that's another very useful purpose for terminal jumpers. It saves you a lot of wiring time. I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters who supported the making of this video. I'd also like to thank the guy who pointed this out. Um, you know, we're always looking for better ways to build panels, and we're also not perfect, so sometimes we leave things out, or maybe we don't even know them. So if you see something we can do better, be sure to put it in the comments. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.